views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This show's audio was via a Skype call. The truth is funny. With Colette Steffen, we'll have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network as she provides energetic shifts and consistent results in every area of life, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success. Many people who shift out of limiting beliefs roar with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. The truth is funny. Shift happens. Feel instant relief. Stay tuned for more fun and release struggle and suffering. And now, here's your host, Colette Steffen. This is Colette Marie Steffen. Welcome to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Radio. Stay tuned for the next hour and experience the instant relief of using your intuition to solve life's most challenging problems. Shift happens every Wednesday at 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific Time on the airwaves, and also in the archives at thetruthisfunny.com, transformationtalkradio.com, and transformationradio.fm. The energetic shifts are still accessible through what I call HSN, the Higher Self Network, if you're listening after. So it's my pleasure to share life-transforming information and provide you with an opportunity to call in and delete some energetic weaknesses. We do love to hear from you. Feel free to call in 1-800-930-2819. Living and learning your purpose in a positive existence is the topic for today's show. You can receive direction on what you are meant to do in your life and doing that with on authenticity and purpose. My guest today is um, a wonderful woman um, and Elizabeth Beads from the Interior Wellness mm-hmm. Festival and I've been working together to bring some of her amazing speakers and, and exhibitors um, that are going to be at the Interior Wellness Festival on the 19th, 20th and 21st of October. Mary Anna Heron Gazzo is a certified crystal healer, YM practitioner, natural horsemanship trainer, and wellness workshop facilitator. Mariana also facilitates meditations and healing sessions, but guided by spirit and using her gemstone crystal singing bowls. She is a successful entrepreneur, spiritual visionary, and is also the founder and the owner of the Akashic Ranch private wellness facility and the crystal and Curiosities Cabin Metaphysical Store in Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, Akashic Ranch is a 250-acre section of sacred land, a natural healing space dedicated to the quest for personal growth, enlightenment, and fulfillment through spiritual teachings. Um, Mariana, are you there? I am. My work is done here. That was a mouthful. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> i know i saw you at the uh, mountain spirit festival yes, yes. Uh, for a, a minute because i was doing a talk and then we said hello mm-hmm. in passing when was the last time like i i know you and i've worked together in the past and um tell mm-hmm. us about yourself how uh, you know um, what you're up to and um you know just share with us a little bit about yourself Oh, well, thank you. Um, well, I th- thank you for having me, and, and I enjoy being here, and uh, this is a great experience, Colette. Um, we talked earlier, you and I met in 2011, is that right? Originally. Yeah, because you said it was yeah. right after um, I got back from Egypt with Leroy Malouf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I basically, at that point, I was just coming out of a very um, volatile sort of situation in life and sort of looking for grounding and purpose and direction and um, started looking into several different modalities, uh, hence where I met you, and um, just kind of started to find my way spiritually and really work with myself internally to sort of get over uh, some past issues that I'd experienced. And in that, trying to find direction and purpose in my own life as far as what am I going to do next? You know, what do I want to do? It's pretty easy living um, a negative life 
and then coming out and going, Kate, hey, now what do I do? You know, and then you're sort of stuck. You're just like, my God, I don't even know where to start. And um, anyway, one thing led to another, and that all led me here to Akashic Ranch and uh, how it all came about is a whole other story in itself. <laughs> But uh, it's a it's a it's an amazing place, and it's well, I've seen like um people can see the ranch and pictures of the ranch. Um, what's your website? Um, AkashicRanch dot com. So it's A K A S H I C. It's a beautiful like if you just want to look it up even now. It's a beautiful beautiful space, and I love your little cabin there. So tell us tell us um about Akashic Ranch. And, 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 and what you're doing there and um, what led you to that? Mm-hmm. Um, well, now Akashic Ranch, as it's evolved, it, I opened it in 2015. Um, and uh, with the idea um, that I needed to do something that had some impact or help people. Um, and it was sort of just a thought in the back of my mind. And as a result, I thought, well, you know, in the midst of all that, I would open a crystal store. And there happened to be an old cabin on the property, which I rebuilt. I used to be in construction design before. Um, I was talking to a friend last night and saying, man, I feel like I've lived 15 lifetimes in this one lifetime. But, um, <laughs> you remind, so, so did you do the work on the cabin yourself? No, 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 no. I no, mean, I but like the I... planning of it. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so this, this land, is this an actual working ranch? It is, yeah. We have horses here, and um, lots goes on. 150 acres is leased out for free-range cattle. Um, so it is, it is very much a working ranch. A lot of, a lot of labor to be done here. A lot to keep everything looking pristine, but at the same time, very organic and very inviting. Um, so yeah, it keeps me busy and keeps me fit. <laughs> well, I can see that if you um, take a look at, um, you know, you're a beautiful woman and <laughs> you've been like in really good shape. You can tell <laughs> that you keep yourself, that you you know, you keep yourself moving and your days full. And so, mm-hmm. um, you know, I just love this because this is something that Elizabeth Beads and I were talking about when I interviewed her. I think it was a couple shows. I can't tell you the date mm-hmm. right now. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. um, she was about how this festival, which it's the 10-year the anniversary, mm-hmm. how it started off just in a little yoga studio. And it feels mm-hmm. like, um, you know, and now 10 years later, it's held at a mall and she's got all these multiple speakers and oh my goodness, it's a huge event. Yeah, Something to be, you know, just amazing, isn't it? And so mm-hmm, um, it feels like your Akashic Ranch is also doing that right now. Is that, you know, we, you know, that, that movie Field of Dreams, mm-hmm. when you build it, they will come. <laughs> oh man, I've heard that quote so many times. <laughs> and it's true. It sure is really true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what oh, inspired man. you that, um, to, because I know you, you were telling me that it started off as very small. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. like small groups coming in and, you know, tell us about that. What's, you know, how people always love to hear stories about how you (laughs) managed to do this after going through a very rough um, Mm -hmm. part in your life and turning that around into something so beautiful. You know, this proves to like, this is something that, um, you know, I tell people a lot of the time at my seminars and, you know, and on this radio show is just that, you know, even in the most challenging times, if you recognize that every single challenge has many, many possibilities hidden in mm-hmm. that challenge. And sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, we are handed a, um, a, a really challenging time and all we can do really is break it down into smaller pieces and consistently take steps of action towards mm-hmm. building a better more pleasing reality for ourselves. And it sounds like that's what you did. And, you know, um, I would like to know, you know, what was your guidance system in this? (laughs) That is all very true. Very, very true. And um, it's funny because I I work in the spiritual realm and all this, but I'm very much a realist and I really have to have a format or something to go by um, and really look into things um, on a factual level as well. So, I mean, the first thing we have to remember is that life is really just a series of energetic responses to everything that goes on around us and everything we do. Um, When I was going through all that stuff in the past, you know, I had to really get out of that victim mindset and realize just how powerful we are as human beings, as spirits, how influential we are, and really just utilize our God-given tools to its fullest. Um, 
And it's really not just about being positive and having faith, but also about being an active participant in what occurs in our life, just like what you just said. Yeah, um, um, for me, neutrality works because, oh, um, yeah. you know, like um, people, when they have a really negative situation, and try mm-hmm. and turn it into a positive situation, it mm-hmm. it it sucks. Like it's like if it something does. really horrible happens to you and everybody says think positive, you're mm-hmm. lying to yourself. You have to accept where you are at to mm-hmm. affect um, any positive change. And mm-hmm. the best way to do that that I have found is get neutral. And then Absolutely. you know the possibilities kind of the challenges you start seeing, oh well maybe that was a possibility that I wouldn't have seen had this not happened. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And I, so, I agree. yeah. And so yeah. you, um, you know, you, you do you, uh, what is your guidance system? Who's your go to well, for, for <laughs> when times <laughs> are really challenging? Um, well, what I did, you know, even in the beginning here and, and opening this cabin, I mean, lots of people assume that, you know, you're like, okay, I've made a business plan and I put it together and I always knew, but it was never, you know, it wasn't like that. It was, I, I moved on to this property originally. It was just the, the first hundred acres that we owned here. And, uh, I literally just walked for a year. I, I would walk the property and just search my soul and, and work out the bugs and, you know, all the, anything negative that was attached to me based on my past and my experiences. And, um, and then literally in September of 2014, I just was really like, you know, I, I was driven. I, something has to happen. I have to be doing something, you know, something of importance, not just something I was doing plenty, but something of meaning, something of importance. And I didn't know what that was. And, um, I remember thinking, well, you know, I've got this cabin on the property. I can open a little store. And I remember my <laughs> brother, he's like, it's, it, you know, it's 3,500 feet up a mountain. And he's like, hey, <laughs> I'm going to go up. <laughs> but he didn't see the movie, Field of Dreams. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. We have to take a quick break here now, Mariana. And we do have uh, a caller that's been patiently waiting. Um, so uh, we will take the call right after the break. Um, and uh, you're listening to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Radio with Colette Marie Stephan and my beautiful, beautiful guest today, Mariana. I'll say it for me, Mariana. <laughs> Herring gozo. There we go. <laughs> you can just, just call me the bell ringer. <laughs> the, oh, that's right. Your name means the bell ringer. That's what we're going to yeah. call you, bell ringer. <laughs> I love it. Um, when we return, we'll continue um, talking with Mariana, and we will take this first call, one 800 930 2819. Let's make some shift happen. Stay juicy. Tune in to Your Juicy Love with me, Una Drake, co hosting monthly with Dr. Pat, and every second Monday at 12 p.m. on Transformation Talk Radio. My show, Your Juicy Love, helps you find the dynamic, life-affirming love you've always wanted. Transform your relationships and bring peace, joy, and juicy, juicy love to planet Earth. For more information, visit unadrake.com. Golden Otter Divinations Radio, where the metaphysical meets the mainstream with Autumn Seibel. Tune in the first Friday every month at 9 a.m. Pacific as Autumn, educator, health coach, and medium, explores metaphysical and mainstream strategies on how to elevate your level of conscious living. Draw in the abundance that is yours by divine right. For more information about working with Autumn, visit goldenotter.us. That's golden like the precious metal and otter like the precious animal.us. Dream on, fly high, and live adventurously on The Laura Meeks Show. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as host Laura Meeks guides you in finding your unique gifts and bringing them to life. As a certified life coach, speaker, and veteran bomber pilot for the U.S. Air Force, Laura knows how to follow a dream. She is ready to support you so you can dream on, fly high, and live adventurously. For more information on Laura and her work, visit flyhighliving.com. Would you like your next chapter to be free from fear and angst? 
Tune in to Your Next Chapter Radio, navigating through life's transitions with Shelley Ryan the fourth Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Shelley's contagious enthusiasm guides you through life's transitions deliberately, mindfully, and funnily. For Your Next Chapter Coaching or to listen, visit YourNextChapterCoaching.com or call 602-617-8351. Next! Join Jennifer Noel Taylor on the hit show, Quantum Touch Radio, supercharging your life on TransformationTalkRadio.com. You'll take a quantum journey as we reveal powerful yet simple steps to create more abundance, better health, emotional and mental vibrancy, and happier relationships using universal quantum touch principles. For more information, visit JenniferNoelTaylor.com. Are you ready to stop stress, anxiety, and low self-esteem from running your life? Join award-winning author Dr. Friedemann Schaub for Empowerment Radio and learn breakthrough solutions to switch out of survival mode and approach every day with great ease, joy, and purpose. Tune in the first and third Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific to Empowerment Radio with host Dr. Friedemann Schaub on Transformation Talk Radio. Visit thefearandanxietysolution.com to learn more. We are back on The Truth is Funny with Colette Marie Stephan and my beautiful guest today, Mariana Heron Gazzo. <laughs> <Before we, laughs> You'll get it. I'm getting there. <laughs> Bef- um, just before we continue, um, would you just share your contact information with us and also tell us how to get out to your ranch? Oh, certainly. Yeah. Um, so, again, the website is akashicranch.com, aka SHIC. Um, uh, the email address would be akashicranch at gmail.com. Um, again, it's uh, Kamloops phone number. It's 250-573-1124 if you wanted to book time to come up and have a look or come to the store. Um, and what was the other thing I was going to add? I think that's it. Okay, oh, and cool. uh, on the Facebook page, there's the Crystals and Curiosities Cabin uh, at Akashic Ranch on Facebook. And that leads you into everything to do with a little crystal store, um, all our posts about upcoming events and, and all kinds of stuff. So amazing photography you, and all kinds of stuff. Do you rent space out for facilitators in the, that what would like to do, um, seminar, like small, like how, what, what, it, excuse me, what the do program? you, um, what's the size or what do you, just so people know, um, mm-hmm. can they come out, can they contact you so that if yeah. they wanted to hold a seminar that they could come out there and do it there? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But it's funny because I didn't actually do it in such a way that someone could just rent and do what they want. Pardon me, the phone's ringing. Um, and do what they want. Instead, I really wanted to be a real active participant in what was happening with regard to making sure that it, it fit the place, the property, my my beliefs, um, and, and just what they had to share. So the way I, I did it actually was uh, sort of on a, um, a percentage basis. So we... I work closely with my facilitators. I find out what they want to do. I always, I always get so excited when I, I learn so many different modalities and so many different approaches to wellness and spirituality and, and connectiveness. And um, and we really work together, and, and it's great because over these past you know three years, um, again it started in fifteen, now eighteen, um, it, we've really just become a big family. And in that, so many more from the outside are starting to come in. And Cash Grants is sort of uh, the last interview I did, I said, "Oh, it was slow beginnings," <laughs> and I was told <laughs> it was not slow. <laughs> yeah, I guess for yeah. me, you know. And now I'm being approached from worldwide intuitives. I had Jamie Butler up here this past May, and she's, you know, she's a, a an international intuitive out of Atlanta, and and now it's kind of getting to the point where I'm starting to look at how much physical work am I doing personally. So, you know, it, it fluctuates. I think it's a very organic program. Anyone can approach me with whatever, and we just discuss it and find what really works well for us. That's beautiful. Um, and, you know, we've had a, a caller patiently waiting here. And mm-hmm. so, um, Carter, can we take the first caller? Yeah, Carla from California. Welcome to the show. Hi, Carla. Hi, Hi Mariana. Thanks for taking my call. Well, welcome to the show. How can we help you out here today? Well, I'd love um, 
your guidance or an energetic shift. Um, I tend to eat a lot of sweets and um, would love to get rid of this craving of mine. And, um, you know, okay. I, I'm um, not sure whether it's an emotional thing or, you know, whether I'm just a bad habit and would love your insight. Okay. So what I like to do is just get a baseline from people mm-hmm. to see um, you know, how much this is bothering them. So if you thought about um, zero being neutral, it doesn't bother me at all, to 10 being, oh, this is just horrible, I can't stand it, uh, where are you? I'm probably, um, probably somewhere between an 8 and a, t- eight, eight and a 10, somewhere around okay. that. It tends to vary day by day. Okay, so um, what the first question I was asking when I got in touch with your energy is this physical or non-physical, mm-hmm. this craving you have for sugar. And it comes up more mm-hmm. non-physical. Um, and quite often when people are really attracted to sweets, they feel that life is not sweet enough for them. You know, are you right. feeling a bit of that right now? Yes, Definitely. Okay, so I can feel that that really is bringing up some deep sadness. Mariana, what are you picking up? I do agree with you completely that I feel it is it is um, more deep seated, a more of a, a spiritual um, issue. Mm-hmm. Than, and so, than the direct um, when it, when people are are um, this is funny because I uh, I guess it was about three months ago I've introduced a new program called um, the. Um, be irresistible telespas and i did the one call which was fat wallet skinny jeans and after that call uh i stopped like i always since i was 13 years old i've always put two teaspoons of sugar in in my coffee and this one day the, the day after that call i thought Man, maybe I like my coffee without sugar in it. Maybe I should try it. <laughs> and you know what? I like my coffee better without sugar in it. <laughs> and and um, it was very, very funny because I kind of totally, and I was not planning on it, just went off sugar after that. Like, I have no cravings for sugar. When other people have sweets around me, I'll sometimes have a bit or not. And um, it wasn't even something that I was really working on on myself, really, because I kind of, you know, I'm, you know, it wasn't really a major issue for me. I wasn't eating that many sweets, but I found it really interesting because four or five of the people that were on the call also quit eating sugar and it was overnight and Mm -hmm. it doesn't bother them at all. And I'm just tuning you into that energetic shift. Um, what happens when uh, a lot of times it's coming up in your subconscious mind? Was your mom, um, was when you were a little girl, did your mom use food as a reward? No, not that I'm aware of, no. Like she didn't bake cookies or anything like that for you when you were a good girl? <laughs> no, actually she didn't. She didn't do any of that for you? I mean, she would just like, she was she was not a baker. Um, I mean, she would just sort of like um, routinely buy us cookies from the grocery store, like along with the other, you know, stuff she was buying, bread, milk, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I would because... I know, and I would tend to like easily eat half a pack of cookies. <laughs> Yeah, it's coming up like that for whatever reason, a weakness to cookies, which I also have because of my website dropping once in a while, but I'm talking about the <laughs> chocolate chip cookies <laughs> is what's coming yeah, up. Yeah, I love <laughs> cookies a little bit too much. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's like you have an yeah. emotional attachment to cookies. And do you like to dip them into milk? Um, not so. I used to as a kid, uh, chocolate yeah. chip cookies and milk. Now it's more in my tea. I like to dip in my tea. Okay. <laughs> so I'm clearing some of this, you know, it's kind of like, um, it's, it's, it is, it, it, um, you were wondering, is this just a bad habit I've gotten into? It's not a bad habit. It is a habit you've gotten into. You don't have to label it. Having said that, if you right. would prefer not to do it, you could choose not to do it. Mariana, what are, what are you, what are you picking up here? Yeah, I, I, honestly feel like it's it's a placebo for something else um you know i mean another thing i wanted to say too is sometimes when these deeper seated issues are happening um it's really important to be 
able to ask for, um, I'm talking more on a spiritual level here, but really be able to ask for guidance and um, help from the non-physical realm and to just almost like what you're doing now, an energetic shift, uh, you know, from a distance and you're actually asking for why is this, why is this this way? I would, I would like to have this happen and then really let go of the attachment to outcome and, and just really trust and see what transpires at that point. And I think your mindset ends up changing um, because you obviously don't want to be eating the sweets. And when you do, you probably feel guilty. And then there's this, this, you know, vicious cycle that keeps happening. And uh, some of it is attached to emotional, um, mental, and then physical. And this is a, kind of a, a guidance I do with this drawing of a house where everything in the emotional in the attic that falls into the mental, which is the second story, eventually falls into a physical manifestation of itself. Um, so... Yeah, I agree with you, Colette. I, I... Yeah, and so we want to check in with, with you um, and see now, Carla, when you get in touch with the number, um, when you think about eating sweets, what um, has the number shifted at all for you? I, I really can't tell, to be honest. Um, okay, it's okay. I it's I, good. I, it, it would be good if I had some sweets in front of me, if I, you know, like, the mm-hmm. craving still there. Okay, so um, we're just gonna we're go- like um, we're gonna strengthen you that um, it's coming up that you don't have to have one cookie after another. It's kind of like um, the same um, energetic shifting around smoking. Most people who smoke mm-hmm. only really enjoy, like even if they have 20 cigarettes a day, they tell me they rarely enjoy, enjoy more than two, three, four of them, like really enjoy mm-hmm. them. And so what I would suggest you do is um, when you um, get this craving for um, uh, sweets, um, that you could, um, um, I, I would like to give you something to do, but I, we, it's radio land and we have to go for a break. <laughs> so if you would just hang okay. on for the break, Marianne, and I'll okay. work on this a little bit more. And then we'll, we'll see, see how you're that. feeling about this. I am Colette Marie Steffen. Thanks. You're listening to The Truth is Funny and you can connect with me at thetruthisfunny.com and at talesfromthevector.com, which is T-A-I-L-S, if you're looking for energy correcting cards or paintings. And you can also find me on all the social media, Facebook, Twitter, etc. at The Truth is Funny with Colette. We'll be right back to take your calls. 1-800-930-2819. Shift your life story into better. Did you know that all of the shows on the Transformation Radio Network are available as podcasts to stream or download? Really? Check us out. Go to TransformationRadio.fm. We have business shows, spiritual shows, energy healing shows, and pretty much everything in between. Something for everyone guaranteed to inspire, educate, and transform. We are transforming the world one listener at a time. This is Debbie Pokornik with a break-free parenting tip. Parenting will always be a bit of a mystery. Who knows why some parenting ideas work and others do not? Or why some kids seem to succeed despite family setbacks, while others have so much given to them and yet fail to thrive? The one thing we do know is that once you have a child, you'll never be quite the same again. Awe-inspiring emotions like overwhelming love, extreme guilt, intense frustration, and incredible joy make this job second to none. Breaking free of parenting pressures means recognizing the pieces that make us unique, the pieces that we carry with us from the past, and the pieces that are influenced by the society we live in. When we can pick and choose which pieces we want to keep around and change the others to align with our inner wisdom, we will feel more self-assured in our role as a parent. For information and to work with Debbie, visit EmpoweringNRG.com. Are you done being afraid to jump into the life that's waiting for you? Are you ready for a real shift? I invite you to tune in every Tuesday with me, Tracy L, on The Tracy L. Clark Show, where we will teach you how to live your extraordinary life. At 8 a.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio, where I will provide the tools and the steps needed to help you transcend perceived limitations and move forward with an extraordinary life. For more information, visit me at TracyLClark.com. 
Introducing the Lucid Planet, a digital gathering place featuring cutting-edge, high-vibrational content that will empower and inspire you to become the greatest version of yourself. Visit the Lucid Planet today to stimulate your mind, body, and soul as you connect with a global community of like-minded people. The Lucid Planet is edited by renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly Neff, who is here to help you cope with anxiety, connect to your higher purpose, uncover your true passions, and live your dreams. Dr. Kelly's fresh, compassionate perspective emphasizes growth, transformation, healing, and thriving. Even in the face of adversity, say goodbye to bad news and low vibrational media for good and become part of the larger collective of people working together to navigate the global shift of consciousness and transform the world from within. Join the planet, the Lucid Planet. Visit thelucidplanet.com. Welcome home. This is Colette Marie Stephan. You're listening to The Truth is Funny. I have Mariana Heron Gazzo on the show with me, and we have a caller on, Carla from California. Carla, are you there? I'm here, yes. Hi. Um, I just wanted to check in with you and just take a deep breath. And um, Mariana has some um, something she wants to share with you, and then I will, and, and we'll see where you're at. Uh, yes, well, I, I mean, Colette and I were speaking and realizing that a lot of what you're experiencing with, um, let's call it the sugar doses, is definitely an emotional thing. Uh, Colette mentioned that possibly it's the lack of um, uh, physical touch, um, uh, a showing of um, nurturing. So my suggestion at that point was it would be really nice to um, allow yourself somehow to gift yourself with something else other than taking the second cookie. So we talked about, you know, you've got the first one, that's fine. And then give yourself, like you were saying, Colette, like a three-minute window to just do something else. I, Anything, anything to really gift yourself and nurture yourself. Go and mindfully give yourself a foot bath in the tub, just five minutes, you know, or take extra special time to, to create, like, the most perfect loose-leaf cup of tea. And you'll be surprised at how your energy changes because I, I feel that, you know, you'll have your first or second or third cookie. It'll feel like you are gifting yourself at that point. And then at that, after that point, it feels like you're punishing yourself. And um, I think if you really turned it around and added more positivity, more um, self-love in there, I don't, I don't think that you'll continue with the cookies. Even go for a walk. Call up a friend. Anything else. That was my suggestion. How does that feel to you, Carla? Hello? Um, Are you there? Yeah, uh, yeah. I think it, it feels yes. It feels it feels good. Uh, I do. Mm-hmm. Try, I I know. I I mean, I, I I was pretty sure that it was an emotional issue. That I'm just trying to make me happy. You know, like instant gratification because everything else mm-hmm. in life has to be on hold or have to be patient. Um, and I'll try that. I just honestly, I feel like it comes down to willpower. Where I just can't oh, it's not. Through. It's not actually um, willpower because what I'm doing right now is I'm just. You know, take a deep breath. I'm just going to energetically tune into this and just strengthen you that, mm-hmm. like, that you'll stop and notice what you're doing. So okay. what happens is when people uh, feel that they have something emotional come over them, they tend to go into mm-hmm. a reaction right away. This reaction is mm-hmm. generally coming up for you from the subconscious mind when, um, when you were a little girl, it, it, you would feel better if you ate cookies. And so, um, recognizing right. that, that you're no, you know, that this, that this, um, that you can just delete these experiences right now and that, uh, cookies mm-hmm. to you could just be like a new experience. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 And so, um, we I just want to, you know, delete all memories of cookies, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, and the emotional attachments to them, and just looking at them and recognizing what they really are—that's what's coming up. And just taking, like, mm-hmm. I would suggest that before you reach for that cookie, that you just mm-hmm. take a deep breath. You know, turn your toes in, put your tongue on the roof of your mouth. That's gonna that's gonna stop you from eating it, <laughs> and it's also <laughs> going to connect you to source energy. And I'm getting that at that point, something may come up for you um, where you're like, oh, maybe I would do this instead. 
And so Mm -hmm. just strengthening you to that, what's happening is you're moving into a reaction and st- uh, that mm-hmm. is like, it's kind of like a brain pathway. And so it's not about willpower. It's not that you don't have willpower. That's not it. It's just that you're not recognizing um, when you're sabotaging yourself. And I'm strengthening you to take that, you know, three seconds to run some energy up and down your spine, put your tongue on the roof of your mm-hmm. mouth and ask, do I really want that cookie? And um, if you do eat it and Bloody well enjoy it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> enjoy I'll that try. cookie. Okay. No, no, because um, <laughs> if you don't enjoy that cookie, then that's what causes you to want the second one because you didn't feel the enjoyment. Okay? In the first place. That's right, what the weakness right. is. That's what the weakness is. Mm-hmm. So, you know, feel free to try that and, you know, or do that, not try it, just do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then let us know if, right. if you would like to get back in touch with us, you can reach me at info at the truth is com, and we'll hear how that works for you. And thank you so much for coming Thanks. on the show. Um, we do have thank to take you. another break. If you can imagine, Mariana. Holy, that's going by fast. Oh, hold on a second. Sorry, that was me looking at my... <laughs> I thought, whoa, that did go by fast. Actually, Carter, will take the next caller. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, one thing I wanted to suggest for Carla, if, this, if I can uh, really quickly, um, is that when she's in that state of that, you know, that first cookie, try to put herself in the emotional state of when she's had the 10th cookie. It doesn't feel good to be there. And if you if you fast track to that point, you can say and ask yourself, okay, what would I choose now? Um, you know, asking a question, let me just quickly say, is in itself as a powerful tool, it sort of opens a vortex of change and possibility just by allowing the space for an answer to come in. What is important to me? What is true for me? And I think I, I'll see it's her, her writing. I think she should be journaling at those points in time. Okay, there we go. So there's Mariana on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, never be sorry for being on a roll. You're only apologizing because you are a Canadian. <laughs> okay, I'm not sorry. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's just a bad habit Canadians get into, right? <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> you know, like if Canada went to war, then everybody would be really sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why it doesn't happen. <laughs> so, um, Carter, we'd like to take the second caller, please, um, that we have. Yeah, Euliss from Vancouver. Welcome to the show. Hello, Euliss. Hello. Are you there? Hi. I'm here. So, how <laughs> how is the weather in Vancouver, British Columbia today? Um, it is, the sun is out. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I... Yeah, can't complain. Awesome. <laughs> what can what can Mariana and I do for you today? Um, so I'm calling because right now at work I'm going through some training that was interrupted halfway earlier in the year. And I've been now back on track and doing this training for about a month and a half to two months. And it got to the extent where I felt that the trainer who was working with me was not really interested in doing this. He, he wasn't very supportive. He wasn't very informative. He was just sort of moving it along. So um, I basically spoke up and I got a new trainer. And for the last three days, I've had uh, someone working with me uh, who's actually involved, who's actually committed and engaged with me. My that is awesome. Good right work. Now, thank you. Um, work. My challenge right now is that I'm um, I'm getting really in my head about about sort of making a mistake or remembering things. I find that even though I know what's required in the job that I'm doing, I miss things. And when I see that I've missed it, I realize like you knew this all along. Why? you know, what's going on. And I think I'm getting too wound up in my head. All right. Um, Right there. You said it. I think I'm getting too wound up in my head. (laughs) When you get too wound up in your head on a scale of zero to 10, how much does it bother you? Oh, about eight or a nine. Okay. So this isn't just about work, right? And so, Marianne, I no, can feel your li- I can feel your um, your energy. <laughs> click, 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 click. 
Oh, you know, me like so a well. like a beautiful horse galloping across the meadow. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> out at a Kashuk ranch. <laughs> so, um, what 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 are you picking up here, Mariana? Well, I just think as as she was speaking, I was thinking that you know, second guessing is the is the enemy, is the downfall of anything good to happen. Um, just to realize just how powerful we are as people and um, really getting out of our head in that way. Like, I feel like um, she's really overthinking, uh, questioning. Um, you know, I'll use a quick example. We were talking earlier about the cabin and I was about to open the store and uh, I was having anxiety and I was questioning it and I was self-judgment and I was, you know, saying, well, what if this doesn't happen? What if that happens? And, you know, and I literally had to just sit back and go, okay, I'm just going to allow it to happen. And if it doesn't work or if I don't know the answer, so be it. I will learn the answer. You know, something else will come. Um, and it's amazing when you open that, that, you know, just that vault and information comes in. So you're not so in your head and you're not so in, you know, the moment of thought and, and um, the doubt. I mean, we are at the base. We're electromagnetic beings, you know, a force to be reckoned with. And if you remember that and you remember that everything um, on some level you, you choose where you are, um, you know, there's really nothing stopping you. And really, Yulith, only most the average person only uses about four percent of their um, potential if they're lucky, and you only have to use like a one percent more to win. <laughs> so you already won by getting a trainer that, um, you know, that is resonating with you. And so we're just going to clear all the karma between the old trainer and the new trainer. <laughs> and, and, you know, just, yeah, you know, the they, whole, don't, they don't like yeah. each other very much. Yes, this is, that's, that's what's coming up. So um, I'm getting that part of, part of it is that the new trainer isn't 100% doing this um, just for you or for themselves, but they're also doing it to annoy the other trainer <laughs> and, and one up. Yes. So let yes. them, let them compete Absolutely. with each other. Let them compete mm-hmm. with each other to make you the best um, at your job that you can be. Sometimes okay. um, karma is not good or bad. It's just cause and effect. So now when you get in touch with this and you think about this now, that you know you have two trainers that really, really want you to su- um, succeed and they both want to say it was them that trained you, does that feel better? Um, not really because... I don't feel like the first one was really wanting me to succeed. I think he was afraid that I would succeed. Yeah, but that's none of your business. That's his business. Yeah, it's, yeah. I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> so what he I'm doesn't saying need to take to that you, on. Um, like I love what um, Mariana, the advice she gave the last caller, which was like, you know, if you want a good future, participate in it. Mm-hmm. So you are doing your best to work through this and to to do a really good job of this and you are uh, mm-hmm. when I test it you're you're doing a good job of this this is it's just um there's some underlying weaknesses on the subconscious and also on the unconscious level and on the conscious level actually from not from always having to get it right when you were a little girl or you got in big trouble and so we're just going to strengthen you to all those experiences and recognize, as um, as, she's, as as Mariana said, that there um, there really is you know sloppy success is better than perfect failure. Really, um, we do have to take mm-hmm. another break now. <laughs> so we'll if you hang on there, we will come back and we will check in with you, you and how you feel, and we'll take the last caller and you know wind up the show. We'll be right back after this quick message. High-frequency healing for an amazing life with Source Light Radio. Join host Laura Barton each month on Transformation Talk Radio as she explores Source Light integration, a unique spectrum of energy, light, and frequency. Experience instantaneous healing and amazing shifts in consciousness with Source Light Integrations Radio. For more information on Laura and her work, visit SourceLightIntegrations.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. 
Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Defining success and putting minds to work. With the Higher Learners Career and Leadership Series, Rudy Racine will help you craft your personal definition of success, offering support and guidance as you move forward towards your goals. Take the leap. With the right mix of focus and motivation, anything can be achieved. Tune in every first and third Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 Eastern. And for more information on Rudy Racine and Higher Learners, visit Rudy's site at higherlearners.com. That's H-I-R-E learners.com. Did you know that all of the shows on the Transformation Radio Network are available as podcasts to stream or download? Really? Check us out. Go to transformationradio.fm. We have business shows, spiritual shows, energy healing shows, and pretty much everything in between. Something for everyone guaranteed to inspire, educate, and transform. We are transforming the world one listener at a time. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show, talk radio to thrive by. I am so thrilled to be talking to all of you. We have got talk radio for all of us. Are you ready and willing and able to accept all of the abundance you can muster up in your life? Yeah. Check us out at drpatshow.com, transformationtalkradio.com, transformationradio.fm. Oh, my goodness. This is Colette Marie Steffen. You're listening to The Truth is Funny. Um, I just wanted, before we continue, I just wanted to give a big shout out to all my wonderful um, people that showed up for my uh, Layer 1 seminar, um, Call to Dance. We just had it this previous weekend. and had such an amazing time with everybody. Did so much energy shifting and so glad to... Um, you know, to be able to part- uh, to have that with the people and, and to create more community. Um, I just wanted to mention that I'm going to be having another live Shift Happens Live Talk event this coming Friday from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And that will be at the um, what used to be the Best Western Hotel and then used to be the Windham by Wingate and is now the Canada. <laughs> that all took change. Talk about Shift Happening. That all took change within three months. So some of my posters have the wrong um, and advertisements have the wrong name of the hotel, but the address is the same. Just so everybody knows, seven to nine, it's free. Everybody welcome. Um, would love to see you there. <laughs> so Mariana, you and I were just talking um, mm-hmm. um, with Euleth, and you have some um, um, some wonderful advice to share with her. Yeah, uh, Euleth, we were talking about um, the two trainers and the, the, the odds that they're at potentially. And I was listening to you speaking about, you know, being with the first trainer, not feeling it was right, and then, you know, it was not going well, and then you made this decision, you switch trainers, you feel good, and now you're at a point where the trainer's great, but now you're questioning yourself. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, and so what I think you did in between that time, what I like to tell people is um, if it feels right, if it feels light, it's right. If it's heavy, then leave the weight. And so you made that decision when you switched trainers, right? The first trainer didn't make you feel good, you know, right in the gut, in your solar plexus. You felt heavy, and you took action. Um, I mean, intention makes way to thought patterns, which makes way to intention and physical manifestation, manifestation of what's about to happen in your life. And um, so you get to this new trainer. Now I want to ask you or get you to ask yourself, what is it about this that makes me feel heavy, you know? Why, why am I questioning myself? And ask yourself a series of questions and, and just really feel, right, just, you know, under your chest there, do you feel light or do you feel heavy? Because I, I think it's a series of little tiny things that are leading you to this point. 
and it's something to do with you. Um, so if, if you know if you tried that, I would be very curious to find out what would happen. How are you feeling now, okay. Eulen? Um, does um, okay have a number? <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel about maybe six. Okay, good. So it's going down. It's the yeah. thought of having to go back there and do it again. And so, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, not doing things right the first time. So let's take the right and wrong mm -hmm. out of it and just go do it strong now. <laughs> How does that mm -hmm. feel? Much better. There we go. You're starting to shift. So um, we do have another caller who's been patiently waiting, and I wanted to um, get to her. Um, so um, feel free to contact me and let me know, uh, or Mariana, and uh, let us know how you're doing. Mariana, can you just share your contact information with everybody one more time? Yeah, certainly. Um, you, look, you can uh, email me at akashicranch at gmail.com. Again, that's A-K-A-S-H-I-C ranch at gmail.com. Um, or follow us on akashicranch.com. And there's all the contact information, Facebook links and all that there. And you're also having an event coming up um, soon, you were telling me. What is that event? Um... Yeah, so <clears throat> the ranch itself, because we're up on a mountain and we do a lot of um, outdoor things, I, I like to call it rewilding or earthing. Um, so I don't like to be in buildings that much. And our program runs from May till mid-October, uh, just in the summer months. And uh, we've actually just finished our final event last weekend. We had an autumn equinox celebration and closing ceremony. And um, we decided that October, I believe it's the first weekend of October, 5th, 6th, 7th, we're having an open house. Um, typically, you know, you'd have to call and make an appointment to come see the store or, you know, buy tickets to events. But this is going to be just an open house. You don't have to call ahead. Uh, welcome to come in, have a look around, speak to me if you want to possibly initiate a workshop here or just come in to browse the crystal cabin and find some treasures for you. That sounds amazing. And I forgot to say thank you, Yulith, um, for calling in. We're, um, we just love when um, callers call in and share and we can um, empower um, not just the caller but others. I don't think we have time for our next caller um, because we're um, just at that, 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 that time. Twilight hour. <laughs> yeah, the twilight <laughs> hour of Radio Land. <laughs> and I just wanted you to be able to, um, because you you had uh, just one more point that you had wanted to share with people regarding, um, you know, your creating your um, your creativity and infinite power, and how you make a list. Can you share that with us in a few minutes, or is that something that's going to take a little bit longer? It might take a little bit longer to explain, um, but yeah, over the years, you know, dealing with my own personal struggles and that, I started to realize a pattern, like a, a format of what I was doing subconsciously to get myself out of the funk. And um, at the end of the day, it was a list of eight things. It's when you turn the eight sideways, it's the infinity symbol. So I call it my infinite manifestation power list. And I would love to share that with you. Um, you know, it requires a little bit of... Uh, um, explaining, I the third thing on the list is what I just shared with you, Liz. So <laughs> it yeah, sort of comes this out. This is awesome. Um, you know, we'll have to have you on the show another time, and we shared point sure. three, and then you know, <laughs> sure. if we have another radio show. Maybe we'll share point one and do it in order or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, sounds great. <laughs> when um, I just love this about you, Mariana. You have such a beautiful light spirit, and you oh, know, you. part of the reason why sometimes when we're energetically shifting, it appears to be. Uh, defy all logic is because um, mm. energy work is not logical. I was explaining this. I, I had a very um, cool group um, at my seminar and, um, you know, I had a lot of professionals there and um, uh, men, you know, like that were lawyer and, 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 you know, and some mm -hmm. people that were very, um, uh, in their like very very analytical it was amazing I love the I love the exchange and that but bottom mm -hmm. line is is that when you are doing energy work uh, when I uh, when you get in touch with energetic weaknesses they're never what you think they are and you have to kind of go with the flow and um, mm -hmm. follow the weaknesses or else you just sort of get into a logical, you get, you get into asking one logical question and then expecting an answer and, and end up asking mm -hmm. another question. And so it's mm -hmm. kind of like a dog chasing their tail. And so, mm -hmm. um, I've been sharing with people, you know, that this, this work requires feeling 
and okay. because many, yeah, and and so, you know, you um, have such a big, beautiful heart, and I just love, love, like how everybody takes their experience in life, mm-hmm. and you know, you work with horses, and you've worked with trainers, haven't you? <laughs> I have, yes. <laughs> and you've seen how some horses do better with this trainer or that trainer. It's not that the person's bad, or you know, they're mm-hmm. not. A, um, they're not a good trainer or whatever a lot of the time. It's just that the two don't match. And so just recognizing that. Any last mm-hmm. words, Mariana, before we're off the show? You've got about a minute left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I just welcome everyone to come to the Akashic Ranch anytime um, you feel inclined. And I wanted to say, too, that it, you know my journey isn't where I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, I've done it. And it's a consistent journey of constantly going back and saying, okay, how is this fitting in my life now? You know, being more fluid and going with the flow and never being that person who thinks everything's exactly, you know, I know everything. Uh, we're <laughs> and <laughs> the, more, the more I know, the more I know I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And we always do have to go back sort of to base thinking and, and like you say, feeling, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah our intent, our intuition. It's its the most amazing guidance system, and so many of us aren't aware of how to use it. And yeah, there, you know, how to use it. there is no magic pill. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not like you're going to do energy work and nothing nothing negative ever happens to you again. Has that been your experience, Mariana? <laughs> um, oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Like, yeah. you know, even, even with making a decision to do something better in life, it's not some, you know, rosy little stairway up to heaven, there's always going to be fallbacks. And it's all based on how you react to those fallbacks because reaction is energy too, right? Um, And the neutrality that you were spoke of to be in that neutrality and accept that maybe this isn't what was meant for me, you know, in spite of the fact that I wanted it so bad. And instead of struggling and fighting against what's meant for us, it's just, it's such a glorious place to be when you actually just sit back, you allow the answers, you allow the guidance, you allow your intuition to guide you, and then you act on that. You're, you're Love it. We have to go, Mariana. Thank you okay. for that wonderful <laughs> advice. And we <laughs> thank, you, thank so you so much for being on the show. Bye for now. We will be on next Wednesday, 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific time to make some more shift happen. You've been listening to The Truth Is Funny with Colette Stephan. Tune in to The Truth Is Funny with Colette Stephan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network as she provides energetic shifts and consistent results in every area of life, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke the truth is funny visit the truth is funny.com for more information that's the truth is funny.com 